killed while simply doing his job. New tonight, tributes pouring in for a local convenience store clerk murdered during a robbery. It happened in Arizona City, a community in Pinell County. ABC 15's Ashley Holden has learned of an arrest in this case and is speaking with those who knew the father. He was my uh, everything. Abdul Raju describes his brother, Mohabed Abul Hasim. His family and people in the community called him Dream. Oh, yeah, he was very nice with everybody. People in Arizona City getting to know Dream for his kindness, smile, and laughter as he worked at Sunlight Market. Dream and his brother, owners of the store. The night before, you know, like we worked together, so he came home like after midnight. So then, and he went to open the store in the morning. That's the last time Abdul would see his brother. Pinal County deputies say he was killed Sunday morning as 31-year-old Billy Johnson allegedly robbed the store. New court documents say surveillance cameras caught Johnson threatening Dream with a gun before taking money and items. Deputies say Dream appeared to fight back before being found dead inside. It was senseless. The community relieved Johnson was later caught and arrested, but many, like Vicki Watson, left angry. She knowingly tried to stop by the market less than an hour after Dream was killed. I just started crying. Still cry. He's a good guy. We want questions answered. Why? You know, the man would have given his last shirt off his back, you know, if he would have asked. According to court documents, Johnson told deputies he had combined drugs and alcohol the night before, admitting several times to the homicide. Kind of makes me sick thinking about it because I just know that man walked into the store and he just smiled and greeted him. The community rallying together to help Dream's family, some of them coming here to Sunlight Market to pay their respects, leaving flowers, candles and signs. When you hear something like this, the community comes out full force. Rosalind Flores jumped in, helping plan a vigil. Within just a couple of hours, this vigil that I thought was going to take at least a week only took just a couple of hours to put together. Other businesses now holding fundraisers for Dream's family, which includes his wife and two young kids. His family grieving, but feeling the support. It's amazing community. You know, so I can't even explain how much uh, meant to us. In Arizona City, Ashley Holden, ABC 15, Arizona.